Hey, we're My Chemical Romance and we're on the Taste of Chaos tour. From the first day I woke up, I came out in my pajamas and it was probably the, one of the coolest feelings in a long time. You just I ran into people all the way to soundcheck and I was so excited, like people from Warp Tour that work on this tour as well who we're going to see in the summer and we saw all last summer and just all the bands. We've toured with every one of these bands except for Killswitch. And, even those dudes I've watched twice live before touring with them, so it was very cool when I met them, so. you guys have any funny stories? Um, anything funny happened yet? If anything funny no. is going to happen... Jeff got naked and put a, a pineapple in front of him. <laughs> yes, he covered his junk with a pineapple. That was really funny. I mean, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen on this tour. It's just the fact that it's just yeah. started. Uh, yeah, Bert and Biggie stole all our money. Yes, playing CeeLo. Playing CeeLo. That's not really funny at all. <laughs> no, I didn't find that funny. Uh -huh. But um, we play this dice uh -huh. game called CeeLo on our bus almost every night, and it's really cheap, and you just throw in for a dollar, and you just play it. It's a great, all bands that tour play it, you know? But Big E is just probably one of the best CeeLo players. I'm sure you're going to get Big E on camera. He's the guy hanging out yeah. with Bert. He's from Boston. We love him. We've known him for years, but he's an excellent CeeLo player. Could you just pan down at our kicks? <laughs> Please. The phenomenal. Oh, all slip on. Get in there. Yo, phenomenal. all slip on all the time. Phenomenal kicks. Black, black, Yo, lime. Yeah, these are styling, though. But these guys are in League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, like, a political statement going Absolutely. on Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It says, fuck laces. <laughs> laces are bad. When, like, you know, you give it your all every night. And to have the kids give the same, you know, uh, I know that they paid money to come see a show, but uh, when you get that return, that's when you have an amazing experience, I think. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody's in it uh, at the same, like the same level, and everybody's just on this weird plane, and it's like you don't even have to say anything; you just they just feel it, and you feel it too. Yeah. If you go out there with a really great attitude. <laughs> if you go out there with a really great attitude, then, you know, they're going to have one, too. And you're all just going to have a good time. And I think this tour has been a really good example of both vibes being crowd and performers being the same each night. What, what made you pick that song? Um, Bert picked the song Under Pressure. Um, the collaboration was all his idea. and. Uh, he just said, wouldn't it be cool if we like got together, both bands, and, and covered this song? And then when the tsunami happened, there was actually a purpose for the song. So then the idea actually went into motion very quickly and happened right away. Um, it was really Bert's idea. And then I think Craig Aronson, who's both of the band's A&R, said, let's do this for charity. So um, it was great. Uh, I think we were both in different countries at the time yeah. when we did it. <coughs> it came out awesome.